What's up, Cancer? This is your love forecast for the first half of September. That's September 1st through till the 15th. This is for my Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and for the Cross Watchers. If you guys enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a like and throw me a comment. And if you are new to my channel, I put these out every two weeks. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can keep up with me as I get them out to you. Okay, let's get started. Spirit, what's coming in for my Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the area of love, first half of September? Any love messages for my Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, first half of September? What can you tell these guys is coming in for them? First half of September in the area of love. Last one, guys. Okay. King of Cups, Three of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. Okay, Cancer. Someone you're dealing with or you are feeling very left out in the cold, okay? You could have been waiting for this person to communicate. I have the Eight of Wands here, okay, and the overall energy with the Five of Pentacles, that energy of feeling left out in the cold with the Eight of Wands is communication. So I say waiting on something because the Three of Wands is here in the main spread. Three of Wands is like waiting for your ships to come in. Okay, so you or this person could have also been making a plan to move towards the other. Three of Wands is often making a plan to move forward, but it's like there's been no movement. Okay, so someone's feeling left out in the cold, maybe like this isn't going to happen. You're showing up in your own reading, in your masculine energy, King of Cups, water sign, um, man or masculine, um, or you could be dealing with another water sign, another Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, Six of Pentacles to me means that you know, this is the energy I feel like someone's felt left out in the cold in this situation because maybe things were like out of balance between you and this person. Six of Pentacles means there could have been a bit of breadcrumbing, you know, you could have been connected to this person for a while and it could have just been a bit like here and there. Okay, maybe communication's just been a little bit here and there and now it's like, you know, you've been waiting for some kind of a plan on how to move forward with this particular connection. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles, the world. There could be distance between you guys. This could be someone that lives overseas, um, which could also have been creating kind of that in and out energy, you know. Maybe you guys um, haven't been able to like reach that level of commitment because there's distance between you. Um, but there's definitely someone that is feeling you know, left out in the cold because I'm sensing one person has put more effort in than the other person, okay? But the world card also represents like a new cycle between you and this person, okay? So there could be a shift coming in. Tell me about this world card. What's that? That one, one, yes. The fool, okay? Again, strong distance energy. So again, this could this person could be living at a distance from you, but the fool is also about a new cycle, taking a leap for something new, okay? So I do feel like if you're feeling left out in the cold and this person hasn't communicated in a while or vice versa, someone could be taking the leap to communicate now also about, you know, having some kind of a fresh start. It also could be about taking a trip. I know that's hard with COVID, but like if there is distance between you two, this could be about making some kind of a plan to um, you know, take a trip with one another. Aquarian energy, by the way, with the full. Um, definitely taking a leap towards something probably more balanced here with that Six of Pentacles, the world and the full um, coming out together. Tell me about that Three of Wands. I feel like you or this person has been waiting for this for quite some time. Tell me about the Three of Wands. Yes, and the Wheel of Fortune. Big changes happening between you and this person, the connection, okay? Like I said, I think that things are balancing out. The Wheel of Fortune often refers to karmic matters too. So like I said, like karma, karma um, often can refer to balancing, okay? So there could have been some lessons involved in this connection, you know. Um, sorry, guys, I have people that wander in and out of... Uh, you know, my background, um, it's just my parents. Okay, Wheel of Fortune, this is things turning, okay? And often in your favor as well, this is also the Wheel of Destiny. So um, this is a balancing out and a turning for the better in your connection. 
Tell me more, please. Um, it's someone that you're very emotionally tied to. Okay, King of Cups is full of emotion. All right, this could also be the person that you're dealing with could be feeling quite a lot for you and not expressing it. The King of Cups often feels a lot, but he doesn't necessarily express it. Tell me more about King of Cups, but he wants to express it, okay? Page of Wands, someone definitely wants to come forward and make an expression, um, like an offer, you know, a passionate offer. All right, so they want to express their love to you. Um, or you might be feeling that way. Yes, two of wands, because you're at a crossroads right now, okay? This is about, you know, how do we move forward, okay? Two of wands is making that decision and a plan to move forward, fast forward, okay? So it's like things are kind of stuck at the moment, but things are going to start moving quite quickly. Eight of wands often refers to quick communication. So communication, if you haven't spoken to this person in a while, could be coming in quite quickly in the first half of September. Knight of Swords also communication and it's the fastest moving night. So someone wants to rush in, okay, um, and make that plan on moving forward with you because things have been stuck to of sorts for a while, as I said. Yes, five of cups. Someone has some regrets as well. So I do feel like, you know, whoever was kind of breadcrumbing the other or not putting enough in um, is now a little bit regretful about the past. Or both of you could have some stuff in the past that you're thinking about, like maybe that didn't go right in the connection. And there's some regrets there, okay? There's some stuff that might have gotten in the way and created some um, distance, like not just literal distance, but emotional distance between you guys. Three of Cups is like the past, okay? So you're looking back at the past and now having some regrets. Um, you know, and wanting to move forward, okay? So if this person is just like, forget the past, I wanna move forward with you. And five card is often about transformation. So there's a lot here around transformation and things shifting in the connection. What does Cancer's person wanna offer Cancer? Yes, page of cups, emotional offering, okay? You or this person might wanna to apologize to one another or it might be mutual, okay? With that page of cups, two pages. So definitely communication and offers coming through. Just cancer's person, three of cups. Okay, so three of cups. So there could have been some other people involved as well with that three of cups that interfered with the connection. That could be why someone was breadcrumbing the other. There might have been like some interfering energy there. Um, you know, that might be why one person was more in or giving more and the other person was kind of, you know, breadcrumbing. Um, and someone might want to apologize for that and has regrets, you know, maybe they didn't decide to move towards you or you decided to move away because like there was some third party energy seven of wands yeah so this is a bit of guardedness okay so i'm sensing you or this person is feeling a bit guarded because of the past okay but there's a very strong push right now to come forward because again i said karma so i do feel like there was some stuff that went wrong here and there could have been third party energy maybe you or this person went off and went into a karmic situation or this person picked like a karmic relationship and uh, now they're feeling very sorry about it, okay? Maybe they left you feeling left out in the cold, or maybe they're feeling left out in the cold now and missing you, okay? Emperor card is sitting here at the bottom of the deck. This is divine masculine energy. So you could be de dealing with a divine counterpart, um, or it, it's, I, it's also someone that's kind of um, the long-term. It could be someone that you see, or they, as a husband and father, or they see you that way. This is about stability, okay? So someone wants to come forward and give you that more committed energy, okay? Aries energy as well, it's this. King of Swords, and they wanna be truthful and fair with you, okay? You could be dealing with um, a air sign man, masculine energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, either way, someone that wants to communicate and be fair, a lot around communication here. The star card, because they hang on to hopes for you, okay? The star card is like a wish and hope, and this is also about renewal and rebirth. Aquarian energy again, okay? Chariot card, <laughs> Cancer, this is your energy. So this is, again, a lot to do with distance and travel, okay? But it also is about positive movement forward for the connection, okay? Interesting, I'll also take this Three of Swords. So this is about heartbreak and separation and third parties. Okay, so I do really feel like you've been separated from this person. You've been waiting for some kind of communication or they've been waiting. Um, but things haven't kind of moved for a while, uh, possibly because there's been a lot of interfering energy um, and some guardedness, okay? Um, however, I think this person wants to move out of heartbreak with you. Chariot card clarified, clarifying the three of swords. So this is moving out of heartbreak, okay? Or maybe moving out of a third party situation to move towards you. Interesting, guys. <laughs> 
interesting couple of weeks in September. Um, let me just get some romance angels. How is Cancer's person feeling about Cancer? Deception. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so your person feels like maybe there was some deception. Someone is wearing a false mask, self mask in this relationship. Mm -hmm. Like there could have been third party energy, as I said, or you know, you could feel that way about them, Cancer. Okay, like I said, there was some breadcrumbing going on. So there's guardedness here on your part or their part or both. Okay, like someone's a bit, you know, unsure because maybe that's the old energy, breadcrumbing in third parties. Give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. So they want to work on things with you, Cancer, okay? Yeah. Release your ex, okay? This time has come to clear your energy. Yeah, I'm feeling like this person or you is getting a very strong pull to um, move towards, you know, um, to move towards you or you towards them, okay? And that there's someone that has to be released. Even if this person's not in a relationship or you're not in a relationship, this is like releasing the energy of that third party stuff that was interfering. The karmic stuff, because I am really picking up strong karmic energy, especially with regards to divine pa partnerships. Playfulness, okay? This person, you could have a real playful energy that they're missing. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So this person might come in with some playful communication just to like lighten up the energy. All right, I'm going to get a couple of psychic oracles for you guys. Spirit, can I get psychic oracles, please, for cancer? Stand your ground. <laughs> Power. Emotional withdrawal. Interesting. Authority. <laughs> this is that divine masculine energy again. Okay, this is emperor energy. Okay, so again, this is like, um, you know, first of all, stand your ground and emperor energy beads, you know, you could feel like you have to stand your ground with respect to this person if there was some kind of third party competition, um, other energies that were interfering. So this is about sort of, you know, um, standing your power. So I do feel like, you know, things need to be equal and even between you and this person. So this is about self-respect. Um, okay. But also this is about coming in with something really solid. Okay. So if this person comes towards you, they want to offer you this want to offer you that kind of emperor energy something really solid power is strength card okay so this is about courage so I do feel like it's like someone's get gathering the courage to communicate with the other person and I do feel like also the distance has strengthened your connection emotional withdrawal yeah this is that energy of feeling left out in the cold all right because someone is really feeling you know like sad and emotionally withdrawn from the situation but victory and success okay so this is definitely someone wants victory with you and patience this is like healing and also this has taken some time to come together okay spirit is saying that's because everything comes together in divine timing all right there were some lessons that had to be learned and things had to be cycled out but big shifts are happening now for you guys okay hope card is like the star card so this is healing and renewal and reconciliation and the wish, okay? So you could have been wishing for this for a while. This person's been wishing for a while. Um, so spirit saying, yeah, give your relationship a chance. Spiritual union, this is a soulmate energy. Okay, guys, wait, one wisdom of the oracle and then I'll go, okay? I never stop. Wisdom of the oracle for cancer, come to the edge. It's that full energy. Someone wants to take a leap of faith for a new beginning, a message in a bottle, communication. What did I say? Interesting, and it's a 15 card which breaks to a six. This is harmonious communication. So, you know, there could be some fears in communication on either part because of the stuff that's happened in the past, the sadness and, you know, um, the third parties, whatever happened in the past, you know, there could be some fears, but someone wants to take a leap now and communicate for har harmony and harmonious communication is gonna come through. Okay, something playful as well. <laughs> Hopefully after all this heaviness. Um, all right, uh, so that's all I've got for you guys. I hope that it resonated, and if it did, um, give me a like and a comment, as I said, and I will check in with you guys in two weeks' time. Lots of love.